What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how to wear jewelry. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Fail or Rise, salute. Now, one of the main questions I get on this channel from you guys are what are my thoughts on jewelry? Do I wear it? Do I think men should? And if so, how should they wear it? Now, that's a complicated question. And yes, I do wear jewelry, but I notice I don't wear it as much on camera as I do in real life. So I understand why I get that question. But on today's video, I'm gonna give you a little insight on my opinion about men's jewelry, how we should wear it, and how I wear it myself. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video on how I feel men should rock jewelry. First up, let's talk about the piece of jewelry that I believe not only should you be wearing, but it's a stylish man's must. You gotta be wearing a watch. Now the watch to me is kind of like the entryway, your gateway drug to wearing jewelry. But it's also mandatory in my opinion. Now I get it, a lot of guys these days, I'm gonna check my smartphone for the time. That's not subtle, that's not cool, Definitely not style. You wanna make the watch the anchor of your jewelry game. Nice, simple, subtle one, or a showy one. That's up to you. In fact, if you don't wanna wear any other jewelry at all, just going with a nice watch, you're good to go. My next jewelry tip, without a doubt, you wanna keep it simple. Here's where a lot of guys mess up, overdoing it, especially when it comes to one of my favorite pieces of jewelry, the bracelet. Now, a lot of guys tend to go into peacocking territory when it comes to bracelets piling three, four, five, six on one wrist, to me, that's not stylish at all. One of the keys to style is simplicity, elegance, minimalism. And wearing only one or two bracelets on the wrist, I think that's a great way to pull it off. Whether I'm wearing bracelets by themselves, I might wear one or two on each wrist, or if I have it in combination with the watch, I'll go with one watch and one bracelet. When you start piling them on, they tend to distract from one another instead of highlighting like a great piece of jewelry is supposed to do. So do yourself a favor, keep it simple, especially when it comes to those bracelets. One or two on each wrist, good to go. Now I wanna talk a little bit about today's video sponsor, Aurum Brothers, who not only sponsored today's video, but provided me with both of these custom made bracelets that you see me rocking in today's video. Now with Aurum Brothers, we're talking about custom made luxury wrist wear. That's all they do. Now why Aurum Brothers? Several reasons why. For one, they're on a mission to provide custom luxury wristwear that's the perfect combination of style and comfort. They believe in superior craftsmanship. Just looking at these pieces, you can tell the love that went into creating them. And on top of that, this is custom luxury wristwear. This is not your mass produced stuff you'll find in every department store. Every guy coming and going won't have an Aurum Brothers bracelet. Now, Aurum Brothers is a company that was started in the Netherlands by a family, and it's still 95% family owned, so you know the love is still there. And all of that's well and good, but what about the quality? That's where Aurum Brothers really sets the standard. They're on a mission to revive ancient crafting techniques, and they only use the finest quality of beads and stone. And you can just take a look at the ones that I've worn and several others that they have. They have a wide variety of different stones, different colors, and of course I love the fact you're not getting some mass-produced junk. You're getting high quality stuff that I can stand by and Aurum Brothers definitely stands by. And what do I mean by custom wrist wear? Like I said, it won't be mass produced. You actually have to take your wrist measurement, send it into them, then they make the bracelet to custom fit you. The great thing about this, not only do you get a stylish piece, it's so comfortable because it fits you, you kind of forget you have it on. Aurum Brothers makes beautiful custom wrist wear that I'm proud to stand behind. A great company with a great product. I highly encourage you to check them out. I got a link in the description that you can take a look at their various beautiful pieces and grab one or two for yourself. Make sure you do yourself a favor and click the link in the description, head over to the Arm Brothers site and pick up a piece or two. Step up your jewelry game. My next tip for wearing jewelry, know your circumstances and rock your jewelry accordingly. The more conservative or business-minded situation, keep the jewelry at a minimum. I might only go with the watch, a bracelet might be okay, but you wanna really err on the side of simplicity. A lot of situations where it's conservative, people can kind of frown on jewelry. So make sure you walk delicately in conservative situations. However, in more casual situations, go for it. Express your personality, step out the box a little bit. But remember to know your situations. Funerals, job interviews, 
might not be the place to step out on a limb with the jewelry. But on a date, at the club, having a great night out on the town, go for it. Know your circumstances and your situation and rock your jewelry accordingly. Speaking of stepping out of your comfort zone, brings me to my next jewelry wearing tip. Don't be afraid to experiment. Accessories are a place where you can express your personality. Now I know a lot of you guys out there think jewelry is a feminine thing, but that's not true. Throughout history, men have rocked jewelry. It's more in recent times when we haven't used it quite as much. With jewelry, you can express yourself, express more of your personality. Step outside the box, it won't hurt you. And besides, stop thinking some things are feminine. If you do things in a confident masculine way, there's not too many things you're gonna do that's too feminine. And last but certainly not least on my tips on how to rock jewelry, you wanna wear jewelry that matches your skin tone. Here's what I mean. We all have certain undertones in our skin that matches better with certain metals in the jewelry. Now, how can you determine what skin tone you have? Got a great video for you right here that it breaks it down for you. Now, once you understand what skin tone you have, whether you have a warm skin tone, cool skin tone, or neutral, you know which metals work best for you. For example, those with cool skin tones look better with light metals. I'm talking your white, gold, platinum, or silver. Those with warm skin tones look better with your yellow metals. And for you lucky fellas out there with neutral skin tones, you can wear either one, your light metals or your yellow metals. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how men should rock jewelry. Let me know in the comment section what type of jewelry you like to wear. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.